guys, Grayson here for Iowa did our C bashers. And we got a new car to unbox. It's the HBX 903 Vanguard. 112 scale, four wheel drive, off road race truck. And there's that. And then here's some more box art. And on the other side, it shows three small pictures. And then, let's get this thing open. I already cut the tape because I wanted to take a little sneak peek. So, ooh, pretty neat box. I mean body, not box. But, all right. Got the radio, the phone fell off of the radio. But yeah. Look at that. Has oil filled shocks, plastic chassis. Look, let's do the drop test. Didn't drop the It's kind of bouncy. Alright, but let's see if we can get the radio out. Here's the radio. Like that. That. On off. Steering rev. Speed switch. And steering trim. And of course, you know, guy, you guys know me. I'll put the steering and um, the speed switch all the way up. Stuff. So here's some decals for it. Which I'm gonna put on. Not easy. So, here's that. Here's the instruction manual. It says 14 years and older, but we ain't gonna listen to that. Um, it's about HBI. I mean, HBX. I get that from the Are there batteries? There should be two batteries. So there might be one in the box. In with the radio, where the radio was. No, in the box where the radio was. Got an extra battery and got a battery charger. The beans can have your side. That was good. Bring that chassis up a little closer so I can show everybody. Four wheel drive. Nice. How's the diffs feel? They're loose. They could use some, some grease. Extra grease, but they're very loose. 390 motor. With a three or a five wire servo. Five. No, it's a three wire. One, oh. two, three. I saw those and I thought those were part of the servo. Let's flip it over. Looks like a pretty rigid chassis with the this stuff built into it. They got flex. Nope. Good. See well. Good. So one thing that I think is kind of cool about this is it's a, uh, the motor is mounted in the middle. And uh, so that, just, I think, just think that's unique and kind of neat. And uh, then there's a cover through the middle where the drive shaft is. It'll protect the drive shaft, so that's nice. Looks like a pretty well-built truck. See, we got some of our little crawler stuff here on the floor. What are you doing, Grayson? Putting some decals on. I got the grill. I got tail lights. 
One thing I wish these companies would do is make their trucks look like real trucks, and I know it takes licensing and stuff like that to get, but that's one thing that gets me about these, is they kind of look like a Ford, kind of look like a Toyota, whatever. Kind of look like a lot. Yeah, they, they take a bunch of different vehicles and combine it into one to make a truck. Kind of like the Red Cat, how they took the front end of like a Camaro and uh, the back end of like a truck and, and put them together and made a, a truggy out of it. An El Camaro. An El Camaro, yeah. But if you look over here, we've got some things going on for the, the Red Cat Piranha. Not going to say what yet, but it'll be pretty cool. All right, he's got the battery hooked up. It seems like it's kind of quick. We're just in our little basement area here. Which it has headlights on it's powered So, next video you see on this thing, we'll do a little run video. And uh, if Grayson doesn't destroy it in the basement first. <laughs> Anyway, what do you say about this, Grayson? I like it. All right, so we determined you liked it. Mm-hmm. What else you got to say? Um, thanks for letting us review this high boxing. Um, it's a neat little truck. Yeah, look forward to uh, getting out on the road tomorrow and seeing how it does. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Thad. I'm Grayson. For Iowa Budget RC. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.